So we're back, guys. We're back. Okay, I've already scouted everyone. Whoa, hold on. Okay, east. This boy about to do some work. Obviously, so far so good. I know Snuppy's probably excited for Logan Gilbert. He likes him a little bit better than anyone else. Walker Lockett, not a guy that I wouldn't use. Listen, I'm excited for Brian and Abreu, honestly. Brian and Abreu, whoo, that boy's going to do work. You, I just got to get him up there. All right, and then I can get rid of freaking Chase and Bradford. We need more left-handers, so I'll probably be looking into left-handers at some point. We'll probably find it later. Uh, let me edit. Gonna fix that. Upload a thumbnail, Mr. Tom Murphy. Edit. Thank you. Now we're gonna sell 20 franchise. Thank you. Save. Go to my channel. Let right, me go live. One person's watching. I wonder who it could be. Stumpy. How you doing? Everything good? I'm I'm doing good, bro. I'm doing good. Uh, it was a touch and go situation. Um, it wasn't too bad here. I mean, the backyard kind of got a little flooded, but it kind of just went away after a while, after it stopped raining. Um, I heard a tornado probably formed around where I work. And in Pasadena, got it rough, dude. Like, houses are torn down. It's kind of ridiculous how bad it is. Uh... Oh god. Oh good. Yeah. I know a lot of people got a lot of uh is this the right one? Yeah. Yeah. Um so obviously if you look at the description so far, here's how our pitching has looked so far. Um I wonder how the Dodgers are doing now. Oh, now Nick Markavich just wants to go off. But to be fair, he wasn't really that good to begin with anyways. He's on a hot streak, apparently. Evan White? Oh my god, Evan White. I mean, he's 11 at bats. What are the Dodgers at now? Huh, <laughs> 35 and 22. To be expected. They're a pretty good team. I don't know why it keeps going back to beginner. It's mainly because I... But I hate that shit, honestly. 
We'll probably be looking into some left-handers. Because we need some, but there's not anyone good here. So I'm not going to bother. Um, so let's, let's play the game. So one, two, three, four, five, and that's it. Okay. Let me back out and just go back in. We'll do alternate ones. Hybrid. Marcos Gonzalez is gonna start. Um, that's Mr. Stumpy's favorite pitcher. Um, you sent down Andres Munoz to bring in Chanson Bradford. He was he's not good. But he can't be any worse than what Andrews, Andreas Munoz has been doing for us. Jorge Alacala has been a beast. Uh, Arones Vizcayeno has been eh, up and down so far this season. Diego Castillo has actually came through in a big spot for us. But yeah. Alright, so we're going to try to win some games. So far, Kyle Seager's been kind of struggling so far. Kind of having a down year. Uh, we'll see how long he can be there. Uh, Ty France has kind of regressed to a mean. Obviously, Taylor Trammell. A big reason why we were able to get off um, Jake Fraley, because we have Taylor Trammell. Then we have a bunch of other guys, too. Oh, we gotta go up against Mike Trout. I hate Mike Trout. Going up against Mike Trout and Anthony Radon is ridiculous. Enough as it is. Are you streaming something? Am I mistaken? We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for no, he's not here, I don't think. Of baseball on the show. Tonight, an intriguing matchup. Oh, what's this? The Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim and oh, something sent me a message. Mariner. Right. Let's go, Marco. Series opener. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, Matty V, this ought to be a lot of fun. This guy won the Cy Young Award last year in the AL, so he knows how to pitch. And one of the things he does effectively, he attacks the strike zone. And if he does that, he should be fun to watch in this one. Coming to the plate now, David Fletcher. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Changed up on him and mm. dropped it in for a cold strike. Changes up on him there, but it's one and two. I want to throw this curveball. I'm going to throw this curveball. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. The one two is looking Oof. for ball number two. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. You know what? I'm going to throw the sinker. The there we go. For a call, third strike as the I was like, he's doing too much. <laughs> he was doing way too much. Right there, he goes down on strikes, but he really made that guy on the mound work for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. And fellas, you take a look at these Seattle Mariners at the start of play here. No, this boy don't have it. Looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Hey, Matty V, this has been a good division so far. And hey, Dero, even though their lead isn't as big as it once was, they're playing some good baseball, and they'd love to carry this into a strong month of May. Yeah, they find themselves sitting in first place after April. I I'm telling you, that's all you can ask for in this game. I know it's a long season, a lot of games left to be played, but they find themselves in a nice spot. Neither Jesus. guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. The one, two. Oh my God, he's just hitting everything. Hit on the ground down the first baseline, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. And he finally Thank God. The battle as this is swung on and missed for the second I, 
The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set it took me 15 pitches to take them out. It's ridiculous. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a now here goes Mike Trout to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. Mike Trout is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. This is what fires me up right here. You don't get a chance to see this every day of the week. You got the reigning Cy Young Award winner squaring off against the reigning MVP. That's why you pay the price of admission. The one two. Hits this one. Of course he got it. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. Got it. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. And now he'll get I don't know why they were playing that far deep. So now he's got to work on leaving him out there at second base. Have to find a way to get that guy home from second now. Never know how important these early runs can be. I don't know why it's that far out of play. A little bit off the outside, it's one and two. Hey, I know we're only in the top of the first, but back breaking blows are those two out runners in scoring position knocks, and they have a chance. And there we go. To leave it there as the play is made Took 24 here. pitches to get out this inning. Danger averted following the two out double. It's on to the bottom of the first. No score on the show. Ridiculous. Jaime Maria gets the ball for the Angels in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, Matt, it's not easy to bunch anything together against this guy. In his last three starts, he has a whip of under 1.10. So we may see some hit and run. We may see some bunting. And we may see some running. Because if you want to lay around and try to get hits off this guy, that's not the right thing to do. One of the top pitchers in the game right now. Here's a little chopper up the middle. He's got it. And ah. a balanced throw gets him. Nice play for the out. That was a good hit too, man. And now a quick look at the Mariners' starting lineup in this one. Nero, give us what you have on this lineup as they start a new series. Well, Matty, the old cliche goes, battlers, grinders. I know it gets old saying that, but that's the exact description of what this lineup presents today to the opposing pitcher. They do not strike out. He is going to have to grind. He is going to have to keep the ball in the ballpark and his defense. I'm not tripping. These are good pitches to hit, dude. And Upton's got this one. Two away now. These are good pitches to hit, Stumpy. You're not watching, but if you were. There we go. So, fellas, this Angels team entering play here tonight. They dropped another one last time out, and in fact, they've won just twice in their last eight tries. Yeah, Matty, this road trip's been a little bit of a struggle for this team. First four games, they find themselves one and three. Haven't played particularly well. They'll find a way to regroup. They have to find a way to play a little bit more fundamentally sound. Start there first. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Number 25 is there. Okay. It's a very quick inning as the side is retired. Mariners are down on four pitches. Still no score. I was not anticipating my stepping into the box. JT Realmuto. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. First delivery to him on the way. And a ball 1-0. Nope, 1-0. And 2 and 0 now is this Come on now. The knees. Real Muto just rakes left handed pitching. There's no real way to dispute that. However, he's not nearly as proficient when facing pitching from the right side. Gutsy pitch right there. 2 0 change up for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. Here's a loop. Oh. Ball out to right. and he barely got that. Anyway. That's garbage. He barely got that. He must be living right because he gets absolutely jammed. Thought we were going to see the bat splintered, but instead he muscled the ball to right for a double. Might get some heckles from his teammates, but no doubt he'll take it. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. And a good throw gets him one gone. Okay, here's how the Mariners are going to line up defensively. And let's focus on Kyle Seeger right here. Yeah. Former Gold Glove third baseman. 
plays a reliable third base. I think something that he does better than anybody is his ability to come in on those swinging bunts or guys trying to lay a bunt down on him. He has the ability to have such soft hands and make that off-balance throw to first base. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Sinker misses, and it's one and two now. Got him swinging. There we go. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Well, I'm glad we get another look at that beauty of a pitch right there. You can't spot a sinker in a better location because even if you do get the bat on the ball, there's not a whole lot you can do with that. Textbook sinker. Carter Keboom is next as he finds himself behind 0-1. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Here's the 0 and 2. Down the line and fair. That's a hit. Ain't no way. Will find the wall deep in the corner. The run is in to score, and they take an early 1 nothing lead. They got so lucky. There's a good job of battling right there, D Row. Pitcher have the advantage with two outs, two strikes. You're one pitch away, and boy, what a terrific piece of hitting right there. Yeah, that's a great job right there. Some guys are not afraid to hit with two strikes. They'll take that pitcher deep in the count, feeling comfortable about it. That's the type of hitter this guy is, and he was able to come through. And he fouls this one off. The 0-2 once more. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here, searching for that put-away stuff. Swing and a miss as he chases one out of the zone for the third strike, and that's the third out of the inning. One in the inning here for the Angels on a couple of hits. We'll go to the bottom. So the and they got so lucky on that double, man. Big man of Miguel Sano digs in next. He turned in a four for four line in the game yesterday, so we'll see how he backs that up here. In there, and it's 0 1. Oh, yeah, there's a new thing I'm trying. So the CPU gets them, gets all the even innings, and I get the all the hard Okay. Laid off for the second strike. So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, not normally a good plan to throw three consecutive sliders in a row. This guy's slider is so good, I think he might throw it again. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at 2-2. Two and two. Regardless of the result right here, to be down 0-2 and work it back to an even count, got to feel like it's a win for the offense. He didn't swing at all. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. One and oh, the count. The pitch. Popped him up. Rendon in foul ground. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that brings up the exciting Lourdes Guriel Jr. A ball of no strikes. Angels lead at one no. here in inning number two. Come on, guys. A 2 0 count to the Mariners' left fielder. Hey, I hope that call doesn't throw him off his game right here. He's been pitching one heck of a game. And I'd hate to see the umpire get in his head right now. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and oh. Three and one to him now. And a fastball misses there. Ball four. Boy, oh boy. That's a tough one for the pitcher. He's definitely wondering, where the heck was that pitch? I think he called it high, but our strike zone says otherwise. That's crazy. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And up next, the corner outfielder, Mitch Hanniger. From the stretch. 
Hey, I know the tying runs at first right here, but if the pitcher on the mound executes, keeps the ball in play, I think good things are going to happen. The 1 0 home finds the zone strike one. One ball, one strike. swing here but he pretty clearly went around and it's one and two now all right guys come on i'm gonna need you guys to do something here my controller died i didn't even know it was on from the belt kicks and deals okay looked like the fastball got out away from him there it's ball two Slider down on for strike three, a great pitch to put an end. Ball set for the start of the inning and set to go is the second baseman, David Fletcher. Oh, come on now. Is taken downstairs for a ball. It's one and oh. Hit out towards second. There we go. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Now batting. Stepping in and ready for another Wilmer. shot. Wilmer Defoe. Defoe. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. 1 and 2 is the changeup had him out in front there. Bases are empty, one man out. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. Not trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses and it's back to man. even at two balls and two strikes. And it's a full count to Depot now, three balls and two strikes. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing it. And an there we go. Throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. So bases are empty here with two gone and standing in the ever dangerous Mike Trout. Hit down the third baseline. Five for fourteen with a double, three fifty-seven average. Jesus. In there and it's oh okay. two now. Bases are empty here with two men out. Just oh, he thought about it. Oh, I made him. Ah. This is off the outside for ball one. Well, I'll tell you, he's not hitting over 300 by luck. He really knows the strike. There we go. Throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Angels are gone in order, but they hold a one. 57 pitches up thrown. Digging in. You know how the other guy, Jamie Ferreira, has 23. First delivery to him on the I'm about to start taking pitches. There we go. Strike. Oh, one in there, one and two. That was a good pitch. Smoke on the but I got that one. That's a hit, the first of the game for the Mariners. You don't see that too much in today's game. Most guys, it doesn't matter what the count is. They're looking to line them. Drive the ball out of the ballpark. Not the case here. Good two-strike adjustment. Able to punch a ground ball through a hole for a single. And that'll bring in Tom Murphy. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. 276, the average coming in for him. A dozen home runs and 32 driven in. Up top, it's 2 0. Oh. France aboard here at first with nobody out. Too tight with that one. 3 0. Oh. This inning hasn't started ideally for him on the mound, but here on 3 0, oh, you have to have the mentality that you're only a strike 
and or a ground ball double play away from getting back on track. There we go. Takes ball four, so a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Huge innings have begun with much less, I can tell you that. First and second, no out, and the guy on the bump really needs a strikeout or a double play right here. From the belt, kicks and deals. Dylan Moore will stand in for the second time as he watches one miss low. It's a ball and no strike. We're making him pitch this game. This inning at least. Now the 1 0. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Now the 2 0. Splits the plate for a strike. You know, Matty, I'll never understand this. You work so hard throughout the course of the season and course of this game to get in 1-0, 2-0, 3-1 counts. Guarantee yourself a fastball 80 to 90% of the time, and he takes it. Just can't understand the methodology there. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Ah, son of a gun. Number 25 over to his left, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Stepping up to the plate, J.P. Crawford, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. From the stretch, here's the pitch. There's a ball low. He misses with a changeup. So far this season, with runners in scoring position, Crawford is hitting 320 right on the dot. So he's certainly a threat with the bat in his hands. These are the type of hitters that absolutely frustrate a pitching staff and a pitching coach. He's not trying to do a ton of damage, but he's certainly going to put the ball in play and be a pest the entire season. And there's ball two now. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Now the 2 1. The count now at 2 and 2. Runners are at first and second with one away. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. In the dirt here. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Now the three and two pitch. Oh, a double play ball to second. The second for one, and the relay won't nearly be in time as he's there easily. Digging in to try it again. Kyle it was a good pitch to hit. That equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at bat. It's ball one. A ball and a strike. Hey, I don't mind that batter taking that strike right there. He's walked a couple people early in this game. Gotta find out if he can find his own. If he wants to walk them all in, we'll take it. 1-1 one, one pitch is a slider that's cut on and missed for strike two. That was a good swing. He's to the well with that pitch three times in a row. I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. Ball two. It looked like he tried to get him to chase on that pitch there, one and two. A good idea, but I think now he has to challenge him a little bit. He doesn't want to get into a worse situation with the cleanup guy up next. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. Swing and a fly ball. Long run for the right fielder. I was late on that. I thought it was going to be inside. Single. Cal Kyle Lewis ties up this ball game at one apiece. and big base hits the road, but none more than with two outs. A big two-out knock right there. Not only ties things up, but keeps the inning going as well. Yeah, just a great approach right there by the batter. You never know when your number's going to be called. You always want to pass the baton. To Emigo the Sano comes up to bat. The donut off your bat and trust in the teammate behind you. Emigo no Sano singles. And J.P. Crawford are going to home. And they stop it. And Emigo Sano gets the RBI. The 
So now time the Mariners take a 2-1 lead. From the pitching coach here as he'll hope to settle his guy down. Into the box now, Kyle Seeger. Ooh, that's not bad. I'm getting a little too excited. Territory. for one here in the early going. Seeger behind with an 0 and 2 count. And he looks at a ball 1 and 2. Boy, his pitch count has really spiked here in this inning. He's up to over 50 already. 1 2 offering looked like a slider that time, but it's 2 and 2. Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Don't think for a second just because he took the first one that this pitcher won't. Oh, that's my bad. Have to leave it there as this mm. strike three terrible pitch by me. Terrible, terrible swing. So two runs on three hits. No air. Should have taken it. Welcome back to T Mobile Park in Seattle as we send it down to Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Angels' offense with their manager between innings. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing their pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense there we go. for them as this game goes on. All right, thanks, Heidi. Now with the plate, JT Realmuto. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big but. hit right here. One ball, no strikes to count. Here comes the 1 0. What does it smell like? Swung on and missed. 1 and 1. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch. Like right smoke there. or? Throw it anytime he wants for a strike. Fuck! Not fooled one bit by the changeup as he smokes this no. one to deep left field. And that one will not be coming well, back. Well, that happened. Run. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. Just able to Man, they tied up the game with the home run. So we love to see that. Right side and right into the shift. Throw gets him two down. Here's Justin Upton now. First pitch on its way to Upton. Not even close on that swing. No balls in the strike. Nope. Sinker. One ball, one strike. The 1-1 one, one home. Waves and misses for strike number two. A swing and a miss at a sinker. Okay, we got it. Strikeout retires the side. Inning is over. The Angels are able to tie things up thanks to this so just about set to go for the last of the four. But before we do that, that was unfortunate. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Mariners manager Scott Service during the break about his team's offensive performance so far, and flat out he was very pleased with the quality of their at bats. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already, and he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at bats they're putting together. All right, thanks, Heidi. So striding forward now. All right, guys, you got this. He'll step in, trying to do something about this two-two tie. First pitch of the at bat on its way. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and zero. Oh. First two pitches off the mark here. It's two and zero. Oh. They obviously circled him before the game that they were not going to let him beat them. Walked him this first time up, and now they're nibbling again. Outside and low, 3-0. and oh. Kind of frustrating as a pitcher when you start an inning off with three straight balls like he has here in the fourth. Makes you start wondering what's going on. Hit the other way out toward right field. Adele is underneath this one, and he's got it for out number one. So one away here with the bases empty. And up next, the corner outfielder, Mitch Hanniger. First offering on its way. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. Two.
two runs, three hits, and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. And he takes strike two. Your idea of working account goes out the window. You're frustrated okay. right so, now. So, Lourdes Gurriel Jr. You gotta find a way to grind. Fly it out. Oh, it took him seven pitches, though. Okay. A ball and two strikes to Mitch Hanniger. The one, two. This is hit high in the air. Out to ah, the Mitch. And the move is up to he tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Now with the play Hi, France. France. He his last Hitting 289 for the season. Not too bad. Oh. Okay. Here's the pitch. Fastball called for strike two. Okay. Inside, as he might be trying to set him up here one and two. Hey, I get it. He wants to set up that breaking ball down and away. But that 0-2 fastball wasn't even close. Oh, Ty France gets a perfect hit. And he gets a single. Uh, hey, d that's just what you want to Two for two. He's given up a couple of runs early already in this game, and now he gives up the two-out single. Yeah, and now it comes Tom Murphy. Tulu Tehran is on, is warming up in the bullpen right now. Ooh, missed him. Very stumpy. I'm gonna talk to my boy. In the party chat. Oh. Wow. This one away, and that ends the inning. One left for Seattle. We'll head to the fifth, tied at two. Ready to go in the top of the fifth, and in steps Carter Keboom to give it a try. Number eight. All right, Carter Keboom. First delivery to him on the way. Keboom stands six-two as you see him in the right-handed box. He's in his third season as a major league player. One and one. Easy take there on the sinker, well off the outside. Oh my god. This is two and one. Right side. Reined in. And the there we go. will start with a ground out, one away. So Joe Adele bats now. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball. Game. There we go. Well Get ahead. That time down, but Marco. I haven't thrown this curve on a minute. Ooh. This one clocked at 78 and it's 0 and 2. They gave me that one. Count and the pitch. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of Are the they going to give me another one of these? I don't think so. Tough curveball nope. that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. The 1 2. You know what pitch he hasn't it's seen yet? Even at four I'm going to give him a cutter. Let's see what happens. Oh misses and I think a ballpark full of umpires disagrees. It's two and two. And this is a strike three. He gave me that one. Oh, caught a break there. Two away. Well at the plate, he kind of got bailed out on that previous pitch. But I think it should have been a strike. Then he goes down looking, and you really can't feel too sorry for him. Not a lot of protecting with two strikes there. Yeah. See? Fletcher. He got ha. top of one and was a ground out this bastard. last time. Yeah, Matty, and it looked like a sinker in his last A-B that got him to roll over. Kind of similar situation right here. Similar stuff on the mound. Look for them to try and get him to do exactly the same thing as his last A-B. He's got to fight to get I'm it. telling you, if it gets too much. Oh, you went over. And a check swing. What? Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. The one-two. All right. Let me get him that sinker. You got him. Bless you. Okay. 
top of the Seattle lineup, digging in Dylan Moore. He'll start things out here in a time. Damn it. That's such a good pitch. There's nothing I can do about that, man. I mean, other than swing at it, swing at it, but. How do you come up with a good pitch on that one and then the other pitch you're just like, eh? You know? Ah, uh, but of course, line. jammed me. Jesus, hold on. Boston's beating Miami. Tough take on a terrific pitch. Lifted the other way out to left center. After it is Damn it. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. I feel like that was not a, a great pitch to hit. And then when I hit it, I was just early or late. So stepping in, Kyle Lewis. It was an RBI single for him in his last okay. plate appearance. A ball mm. no strikes. Didn't like that pitch. Six game hit streak, yeah. I mean, he extended it, one would presume, because he got a single. Hit the other way out toward right field. How am I late on that? Is there and he'll make the catch to retire the shot. So garbage. Now at the plate, Wilmer Defoe. He's set to lead us off in the sixth inning. Try to check it in its own one. Wilmer Defoe. I gotta go back to my strategy. Line to the right mm. side. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Second is there are two aboard now. These guys are in perfect position to break through right here and to take the lead. There is without question nothing tougher than back-to-back -back singles. You don't know if they're gonna bunt. You don't know. They can do so they have so many options at their disposal right now. Behind 0-2 now. Well, the Angels have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it. But now sure would be a great time. One there. On to first, and they turn the double play. Well, there's the pitcher's best friend right there. The inning was off to a rough start, right? But nothing changes that like a good old two ball. We'll see if they can strand the runner at third now. JT Real Muto is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. And him fooled as this is popped up back behind short. Crawford is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Angels strand. What a this is why he was a Cy Young man. Coming up, deadlocked. Julio Tehran is going to come on in relief. But here, I'm going to let you guys listen to this and I'm going to go get some eat. I'll be right back. Be making his 20th appearance of the season. Julio Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Miguel Sano is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Adele is under this one. And he puts it away for the first down. Now at the plate, the Kyle baseman, Seager. He looked Kyle. to bounce back after striking Seager. out his last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1 0 home. High and deep to straightaway right. A ball that's tearing. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Next to Seattle, no fielder. Two gone now in the Mariners' sixth. 
And that brings up the exciting Lourdes Guriel Jr. First pitch of the at bat. Grounded up the first baseline, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Bases are empty here with two men out. Again, another foul ball. Guriel, a Cuban born ball player, he's in his fourth season as a major league player. Throws him for strike three, and that retires the side. Mariners are down in order. Six innings complete. All square at two and two. Now right, I'm back. Uh, Into the box. I think we're gonna we're gonna pull him. Brendan Brennan is on the pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. First pitch on its way. And a called strike down in the zone. Nothing in one. Hard stuff on the corner, and he's got him 0-2 now. You got to cover the whole plate now after letting him steal two strikes on the inside half. Fouled off. Ready with another 0-2. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. And that's going to be high two and two now. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that right. this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll pop. There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no-doubt home run. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Okay, well. So a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Number eight. Rounded back up the middle. He's got it. And that's the second out. So coming to the plate, Joe Adele. He was set packing on strikes in his last trip. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. And it's quickly 0-2. Two. two out, nobody on. And this is pulled foul as he was way out in front there. And it's fouled away. And he'll try to get him to chase the fastball there. Right. He lays off. One and two. When a pitch is close to working through ah. the beginning, that's when you really need to grind out some at-bats. He's done a good job of that, and that's... There we go. The fastball to end the inning. Angel strike. Yeah, that was quite unfortunate. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need... And he jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. That one is out of here. Ties up the game. This Mitch Haniger. Is tied. A solo home run for Mitch Haniger. Home run number 15 for him thus far. And the Mariners have come back to tie it at three. Homie thought he can. Made a mistake. Like I was gonna take advantage of that right down the middle. Big time at bat right there. Team trailing and he ties it up with a bomb. Interested to see how this one finishes out. I thought I thought Mike Trout was about to take it away from me. I was like, ain't no way in hell he's about to take it away. At the plate, Ty France. And he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball. One and Don't I already have a picture of Mitch Hanniger? I feel like some of them. I do, so I don't really need a picture of him. But what I was trying to do. Not that.
Yeah, because I have pictures of everyone else, but I have Zach. Please, Zach. I have Julio Rodriguez, Urias, Jesse Sheffield, George Kirby, and Zach. Please, Zach. So all I need is Marco Gonzalez, and I can start doing my shit. Okay. I'm actually just waiting for the snipping tool to pop up. It never did. Great. Snipping tool. Perfect. Oh, I actually didn't want to swing at that. I was like, ah, that's not a good pitch. First, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Even though it was a good pitch to swing at by us. One run in and one gone so far in the inning. I'm gonna try to sneak this one to the right side, see if that works. Probably should have taken that. It's my bad. Way outside, nearly to the backstop, two and one. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work. But I like the idea behind it. Started to chase that time, but then he wisely holds off for ball three. Oh. And oh. should have been ball four there, but it's a called strike, and that runs things full at three and two. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. I thought it was out of bounds. I thought it was not inside the strike zone, but it's probably too close to take. Here's a slider to start things up. Looked at for ball one. Hey, this one's tied late in the game. As a pitcher right now, you just can't lay a cookie in there. One and oh. And a fastball here that's taken for ball two. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Two and one count now to the that was right down. Off batter. I tip my hat to the batter right there for taking that pitch. Most guys would have definitely been swinging in that situation. 2 0 fastball, but that was not in the zone he was looking for. Move on to the next pitch. Got a bloop single. <laughs> Sometimes it pays to be lucky, boys. That's the cat and mouse of the game right there. You find yourself count leverage, you think you're getting a heater. He throws an off-speed pitch and you're still able to execute. That fires me up right there. At the plate now, J.P. Crawford fouled away. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Before the delivery, a Damn, he's out. Go-ahead run at first. And he is tagged out here. Boy, a bad mistake that time as he's picked off. Ready now for L.A., David Fletcher. Johan Ramirez has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Here comes the first pitch. Who started it with the change and it's nothing in one. Oh, he had him fooled there. No balls and two strikes. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. One and two. 
on the ground near home. Throw on there you go. Time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Digging in the switch hitter, Wilmer Default. It was a single for him in his last at bat. Slider gets the outside. That's a strike. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. Now a late bunt attempt here, but he misses strike two. Here's the pitch. Oof. Bases are empty, one man out. This control is so garbage. Line drive to like I said. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. So a runner at first now with one away. And standing in the ever dangerous Mike Trout. No balls in one strike. Comes set and the 0-1. One and one. Fudge. Crowd and he connects on this one. That's out to deep left field. Gone. And that two-run home run delivers an eighth inning lead. And digging in next will be Anthony. He missed that. And Dan, after that home run, it looks like they might be able to end this losing streak that they've been mired in. Yeah, and a win at this level feels really good, especially when it's been a while. They're on their way if they can play well the rest of the game. Didn't quite catch the zone there. Ball one. With this one almost in books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d -Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Another 2-2 offering. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there. Is this Jason Bradford enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. JT Realmuto is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. Here's the 0-2. And, and the slider gets him swinging. Two gone. For my money, there's nothing better than a three-pitch see you later. And look here. He gets him on his heels with strike one, up against the ropes with strike two, and then he KOs him on pitch number three. Love it. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Lifetime in this matchup. He's a 300 hitter, three for ten. He's also gone down on strikes five times. Three and zero to him now. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four, and as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. hit to first and a sliding attempt at first but this sneaks by him a base hit and a good throw will wind up holding yeah that's garbage third so the bases become loaded now with two gone Carter Keyboom digs in now as he sends it on the ground to first and he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over but the angel it's like you can't make one mistake against people, man. It's ridiculous. And in the bottom half of the eighth. Here's the first pitch to him. Popped him up. 
Rendon has room in foul territory. One out. So striding in, Kyle Lewis. He's working on a one for three thus far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. High in the air down the right field line. That boy. That's insane. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot it's a hundred miles per hour. Make it seem like I'm gonna do something with that. And he fouls this one off. Line towards center field. And they're playing that nose doubles defense. Damn, right here you see a situation where no doubles defense can, comes back to bite you as a pitcher. Are you even aware when guys are playing a foot off the track? I'll be honest with you, Dero. You're so concerned about it on the mound trying to get that white ball to that dark brown or black glove that I never really ever turned around to even though it's where they were playing. I was concerned about getting the guy out swinging the bat. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out. I was have no one. way liner toward right center and that will get down as he delivers a big one here it's a base hit and that's going to bring in the run from third and just like that it's back to a one run ball game yeah one a day keeps the doctor away dan especially when it's a big one late in the game it doesn't matter at all you just try and drives it out to deep right center field this will bounce over the wall out there, and that's going to keep this a tie ball game as that go-ahead run will need to stop over at third. Noah Ramirez answers the call now, looking to get this one onto the ninth inning without any trouble. Stepping in now is Mitch Hanniger. Now a swing and a deep drive to left. Over the bullpen and gone. That's a big time bomb right there. It's about time now for the closer to get ready and slam the door on this one. No oh, crap. Okay, hold on. To the plate now, Ty France. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left. Upton's under it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Digging in once again, Tom Murphy. It's been an 0-for-2 effort for him to this point. First pitch of the at-bat. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. And oh. Not sure, but it looks like he may have been blindfolded for that swing. It's 0-2 now. Maybe that was my bad. Silly with that one. A ball and two strikes to the Mariners catcher. Well, that's pretty much a no-brainer right there. If a guy misses that bad on a curveball, you've got to throw him another one. That was better recognition there. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one-two. Man, this at bat has changed quickly from 0-2 now to 2-2. and -2. A good job of plate discipline by this hitter, not chasing those pitches just off the plate. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. Boy, went from being in the driver's seat to now being in some trouble. Had the count 0-2, started nipping at the corners, and next thing you know, this count stands at 3-2. And, and he takes ball four, so a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Digging in, Dylan Moore. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, 1-0. One and oh. Hit on the ground toward the left. Damn. Fielded by Rendon. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. But not before five.
Diego Castillo takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. First delivery to him on the way. Ninth inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. And think about it. In game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting pitching. Two and one. He knows full well he's sitting on a hat trick right here. All he's trying to do is avoid the golden sombrero. Can't connect there. It's two and two. Look at the radar gun on that slider. Off speed pitch, 91 miles an hour. That's just pure fill. Got him. And he'll strike out here yet again. It's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the night as we take a look at league saves leaders entering play. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. David Fletcher comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Ooh, that was some gas. Triple digits. Get back up the middle. There we go. First is in time. The Angels are now down to their final out. Standing in, Wilmer Defo. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. And the throw is too late. He's on with a beautifully placed bunt single. So standing in, Mike Trout. And we'll see if he can get something into the gap to make it interesting. He's had a great game so far, but needs the triple to complete a cycle. That's inside. 2-0. Now this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. Hit high and deep out there to left center. I don't know, man. And it's gone. In now is Anthony Rendon. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed. And now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. That's three straight sliders in a row. Got him. Uh, strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible time run to the plate but could not cash in. Let's go. Yeah, performance worked hard. It would have had some wobbly wheels on it. He gave up a couple of runs but he still gets the save getting that shot. Oh, man. Mike Trout is a beast, dude. I don't, I don't understand it. You were pissing me off. Saturday morning to you. Here's the news and results from Friday. Starting in the AL West, the Mariners totaled 11 hits as they defeated the visiting Angels 8 to 7. Alec Bohm had an outstanding day, driving in five on three hits as the fight and fills down the Athletics 15 to 5. He is among the NL leaders in on base percentage. The Baltimore Orioles no had two great hits in this one as they stole a win in extra innings over the Rangers 5 to 4. Rafael Devers picked up three base knocks in the ballgame as the Red Sox grabbed the win over Houston 2-1. to one. All right. Ryan Yarbrough was untouchable on the mound, crafting an amazing... Let's try this again.
We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Ought to be a good one here between the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim and the Seattle Mariners. It's Mariners baseball, and it comes your way next. Julio Arias, a Mexican-born lefty, is the man on the mound in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, Matty V, this ought to be exciting. This is one of the top young pitchers in the game right now. He keeps getting better. He keeps learning. And if he continues at this pace, this guy has a chance to be one of the more reliable pitchers in the game. First offering on its way. David Fletcher stands in as he looks at a called strike. And, fellas, you take a look at these Seattle Mariners at the start of play here tonight. Four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Yeah, Matty, they've been playing some quality baseball. The first four games of this homestand, they've taken three out of the first four, looking to capitalize and continue to play good ball today. You know, Dero, this is time to get greedy. When you win three of the first four, boy, if you can win four of the first five, that sets up a really nice stretch of baseball. They'd love to win this one here today and keep that roll going. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. David Fletcher is retired to lead off the ball game. And here now is Wilmer Defoe. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. In past meetings with Julio Urias, he's gone three for six. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. Defoe, a native of the Dominican Republic. He's currently in the first year of a new two-year contract. I notice ain't a ton of job security, but it's certainly better than a one-year deal. A two to three year deal put yourself in a position where you can really invest in this team got him swinging on the fastball there Wilmer Defoe is the second out of the opening frame Mike Trout is in with two away as he takes a ball one and oh and second behind the plate is Kenny Jansen as you see the rest of the umpiring crew there Hey, the book on Kenny Jansen, d -Roll. not a very big zone, but he will give you that low pitch below the knees. Yeah, and he's consistent. You're okay. With oh, my God. Way to deep right field. Ranging back is Henniger, and just short of a home run, this ball's off the wall. And he is in to third with a two-out triple. <laughs> he just hits everything. Could not have come at a better time. The team has really struggled the last few games trying to get over the hump, and they're looking for anything good to happen to them, and I'd say that triple definitely qualifies. They are fired up. Have to find a way to get that. Mike dropped the cheat code, man. You can't pitch around this guy. know how important these early runs can be. The set and the 1-1. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Left fielder is on the move. Hell no. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. No damage done after the two out. Number 43 is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Angels. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Here's a guy that numbers can be a little bit deceiving. He has a whip in the 1.3 area and above range. It's a little higher than league average. He's been a little bit inconsistent. One good game, one bad game. But don't let that whip fool you. This guy's a much better pitcher than that. And if he brings his A game, he could be awfully D. Gordon close. gets his, gets the hit. Gets a single. Play here at 279, four home runs, and an even 20. Why are you? And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Gordon on at first, nobody out. Three and oh now. And that fastball away there almost works like another pitch out. I think they're definitely worried about him over there. Taking all the way, and it's 3-1 and one now. Stealing that strike on 3-0 was important, but you don't want to miss over the heart of the plate in this situation. I got to believe he's going to be way more aggressive right here. On to first, and they Dude, that's so garbage. So garbage. With a moment here in Seattle, and look at the Mariners' starting lineup. Mark, what do you have on this group in front of the home crowd tonight? 
Well, Maddie, this is a fun lineup to watch. They lead the league in hits. They can do it in a variety of different ways. They got some guys in the lineup who can really bang and hit the ball out of the yard. And then they got the little scrappers, the grinders who beat this pitcher down, drive his pitch count up, and get into that bullpen. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. And it's one and two. If the offense didn't already know, the man on the mound's got his eight-game fastball working today. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. We've Second inning set to go, and next will be the power hitting catcher, JT Real Muto. Taken but called a strike. Left side of the infield into the shift. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Okay, here's how the Mariners are going to line up defensively. And the guy manning shortstop today is J.P. Crawford. This guy, he doesn't have the quickest feet in the game, but he has unbelievable range, a strong arm, and very, very quick hands. And he is just the start of the new wave of the next line of great shortstops. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Boy, Dero, any time a lefty takes that pitch that, on the outer that, third and drives it the other way, you have to be awfully yeah, impressed. Yeah, you have to be. It reminds me of Will Clark back in the day taking that ball the other way. You have to be able to play with the whole field to have success in the big leagues today. A 2 0 count to the Angels' left fielder. Clearly working the bottom of the zone, trying to get a ground ball for a double play. That one's in there on the black, 2 and 1. And Upton lays off again, and he's in control of the count. It's three and one. No score here as we play inning number two. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Carter Keeboom is the batter now as he looks at a ball of one and zero. Oh. Has a look. Now the pitch. And this is a fastball that's right on the black, but ruled a ball. It's two and zero oh now. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter do you think you can drive it but it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball fouled off two down runners at first and second tough curveball that time but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going nope. and that misses two and two man that's a tough take given where we are this game but he got away with it and that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Well, the one-two pitch didn't go his way, and now a miss there. He had high you gotta be kidding me, man. There to left center field. Lewis looks up, and this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. Stepping in now, David Fletcher. Yeah, he is kicking himself right now. He worked his tail off to get out of that jam and was one strike away from getting there, and then... Boom! All that work goes to waste. From zero damage to a three-run homer in the blink of an eye. Uriel Dog, I'm not having fun right now. Catch for out number three. But the Angels strike. Bottom of the inning now. And set to go is the veteran first baseman, Miguel Sano. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for... For this lead off, I had to try to get on and get a big inning started. And a high ball to take it over the outfield wall, and he kicked. Okay. Now I'm gonna go finish my food. It's off the inning with a 
ground rule double. Dan, after that base hit right there, he's got a six-game hitting streak going. You know what? And this could be this could lead him on to something, some bigger and better things right here. He's been swinging the bat pretty well, and he's been rewarded for it, as you talked about. Six-game hitting streak so far. a strike to even the count one and one oh I'm shocked he got away with that one boys curveball right down the middle of the plate and for him to take that pitch looking he had to be sitting on something else but he should have pulled the trigger one and one here it comes oh, that pitch is out. no one out with a runner at second Wanted to go oh, after the slider, but he holds off three and one. This is a spot you like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. Who thought he had ball four, but instead it's strike two. Now the payoff pitch home. Full count still. Oh, that's frustrating right there. He was right on that fastball. Took it deep, just couldn't keep it fair. How many times have you seen it? There's a good chance he's punching out right here. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. Digging in, Jose Marmolejos. He'll get to take his first cuts here. From the belt, the pitch. And he takes a good swing at that one as this is sent down the line in right, but ultimately into the crowd of foul ball. 0 oh, 1, here's the pitch. Hit out towards second. He's got it. And there's out number two. Coming to the plate now, Lourdes Guriel, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh, Outside with the fastball that's 1 and 0. Oh. Popped him up. Number 25 is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. One hit, one left. We'll go now to the top of the third. Angels are out in front, three to nothing. Top of the third set to get underway, and digging in is the ah man, tired of the game. Bro. Veteran DH Wilmer Defoe, Wilmer and the pitch. And the third inning begins with a changeup that misses. It's a ball and no strikes. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was late on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. Sky down the left field line. Guriel moves over near the line as he puts it away for the first out of the inning. So one gone in the inning, and here's the always dangerous center fielder, Mike Trout. Well below the knees, laid off on the changeup. Right side, but it's going to be a foul. If I got to walk him, he's going to get walked. One out, nobody on. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. You've got to be kidding me, dog. Location. <laughs> he is going to pay for it dearly as that ball is sent over the wall. A home run. Well, it's obvious they didn't change their scouting report after yesterday's game. He had two bombs yesterday and another one today. Hey, this pace can't continue, but he's going to ride this wave as long as he can. 0 for 1 here in the early going. The 0 1 is a. Bases are empty, one man out. 
changeup. Good pitch there. One and two. Probably better that he let that pitch go anyway. After seeing a lively fastball on the pitch before, it's pretty hard to sit back enough on a well-thrown changeup. Now that ball is smoked, carrying the deep left. That one's Bro, here. why can't you? Back to back home runs. Wow, nothing more demoralizing than giving up three home runs in the first three innings of a game. There's having a guy's number, and then there's absolutely owning him. This could be the latter. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. 1 and 1 the count. And the pitch. Still only one out in the inning. He swings and crushes it. Oh my, there is no doubt about this one. And they've done it again. Back to back to back home. Right. Huh. Take him out of here. Here comes the Seattle skipper on his way to the mound. And he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. Number 25 is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. A base hit in his first trip. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. Three runs already home here. Again, another foul ball. Swing and a miss on the breaking pitch. Two away. Pitching 101 is changing location and upsetting the hitter's timing. Now you do that, and everything's going to be fine. In that strikeout, he never threw the same pitch twice in a row, and he won the battle because of it. Julio Rice had a terrible, terrible. And it's fouled away. Terrible day today. Stands 6 2 and throws from the right side. He's in his third season as a major league player. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as this side. Stepping up now. Dylan Moore. He starts the inning, and Dan, they're down six in the early going. So, what do they need to do to claw back into this thing? Well, first of all, Matt, I think they need to start to get some base runners. It's hard to be patient when you're down by six. But base runners are the key to getting back into this one. Strike two. After falling down 0-2 on the same pitch, don't be shocked if he triples up on it. Just a touch outside. One and two. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. Here's a fastball in on the fist, and that'll even things up at two and two. He started this guy backwards, a couple of off-speed pitches early, followed by back-to-back -back heaters. He can go either way he wants to go right now. And ah. Pop it up on the right side of the infield. And there's out number one. Batting Digging nine. in now, the Luis pitcher. Torrens, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. And oh, looked like ball two below the knees, but it's ruled a strike, and that evens the count at one and one. Fastball runs in tight here, and it's two and one. One out, nobody on. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Here now the two two is laid off and the count runs full. D Gordon will be next. And that's a swinging strike 3 in the dirt. He makes the throw to first, two down. He's been he's been calling that all day. He's been calling that pitch down and in. D Gordon, one for one after a single this first time up. That's lifted the other way out to left. And this is taken in by Upton, and that ends the inning. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney standing by with a report.
Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Angels' offense with their manager between innings. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said they're doing an excellent Leading job with pitch Angels. selection, meaning the they're swinging shot. at the right pitches Number and eight. doing damage with them. The numbers back that up. Five extra base hits on the stat sheet, guys. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Final line there the for the Mariners' field. starting pitcher. Yeah. Certainly not the oh, night yeah. he wanted to have. Yeah, nothing seemed in sync for him out there in this one, Matt. He just couldn't get the ball where he wanted to, and the opponents really took advantage of that. That's a brutal feeling sitting in the dugout. Know that you disappointed your team and you went out there and laid an egg. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. Sometimes this game doesn't make sense right there. He's out on his front side. His butt's in the dugout, and he's still able to roll it through for a knock. Pitcher has to be frustrated. Just gets a piece of it. Strike Dude, I am frustrated this whole game. Numbers on the back of his baseball card. Fletcher is slugging just a little over 400. Not a huge threat, but he can certainly square one up on occasion. Crawford ranges back, and he has it for route number two. The batter, number one. Stepping in, Wilmer Defoe. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. In there for strike one. Six runs, seven hits, and no errors to this point for the Angels. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hold, 0 and 2. Ooh, that was ugly. Howdy, if you're waving at me. Can't get him to chase. It's 1 and 2. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Another 1-2 delivery. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will ret Digging in for... All right, hopefully they can get something because I haven't gotten shit. For his second at bat, JP Crawford. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Oh, and you talk about a pitcher getting the benefit of the doubt. That's low, but called a strike anyway. Nothing in two now. I know it's cliche and it's tired at times, but a well-located fastball down at the knees is still the best pitch in the game. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. Fielded cleanly. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. The better fielder. Ready for another chance? Kyle Lewis comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Here's the first pitch to him. Oh, look out, hot shot to third, and there are two away. The first baseman, number 22, Miguel. So here's the cleanup hitter, Miguel Sano. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. That elevated fastball right there, that is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys working at Greg Maddox east to west. Count now a ball and a strike. Two balls and a strike to the Mariners' first baseman. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. The 2 1. Here's a fastball that misses. Time to wake up the offense right here. 3 1 count, all in on something over the heart of the plate. And that one's taken outside for a ball. They walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two-out base runner. Well, he loses him there, but that's just the first walk he's given up, along with a couple of hits. So his command has been pretty solid so far. Settling in now, Mitch Hanniger looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there, north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. And he misses low with it, 2-0. Oh. 
it's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers' pitches. And when he's getting the ball in the zone, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Hit on the ground out to short. Reined in. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. On to the top of any... New inning set to get underway, and that brings up Mike Trout. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't wow. hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile, but, hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Crawford is there, and on one pitch, Trout is retired. So the base is empty here with Anthony. one away, and that'll bring Rendon. up Anthony Rendon. The last at that, Matty B. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. Grounded straight into the shift on the left side. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Stepping in, JT Real Muto comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. And he takes ball one. Ball one, no strike. Six runs, seven hits, and no errors to this point for the Angels. And this one's too far inside, ball two. When you're down six on the mound, you got to at least throw strikes here. Outside, three and oh now. Now with the base is empty, I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's 3-0. He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. And this one misses high for ball four, and they have themselves a two-out base runner. Number 25 is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. And facing right-handed pitching so far this season, number 25 carries a hitting line just over the 280 plateau. So far this season, number 25 comes into action carrying a slugging line above 470. Obviously a potent hitter looking to do some damage right here. Low with a fastball that time. Two balls and two strikes. A runner on first with two away. High in the air out to center field. Lewis waits on it. And that's the third out. Angels leave one. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Mariners manager Scott Service during the break about his team's offensive performance so far, and he told me overall he's not happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Most notably, he said they have to figure out a way to hit the off-speed stuff that's getting thrown their way. They've yet to get a hit on anything other than a fastball, so he said they're going to continue to see pitches dancing all over the place until they prove they can do something with it. All right. Thanks, Heidi. Now batting. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that brings up the exciting Lourdes Gurriel Jr. And he waves at a curveball there. No balls and a strike. A great job of changing speeds there. It's 0-2. There's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if they have to incorporate that into their mindset. Hopped up. And there's out number two. Now batting. Next for Seattle, Dylan Moore. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Tried to check it, and it's 0 and 1. And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's 1 and 1. The pitch. A ball and two strikes. Hey, offense needs to check itself right here. They need to make this starter a little bit more uncomfortable. One strike away from five shutout innings. Slap hard the opposite way. And that is in there for his first try. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0-2 now. Sometimes you just can't overthink it. If a guy can't hit a certain pitch in a certain quadrant, why would you throw him anything else? Case in point, this guy's cold zone is away, and this pitcher keeps attacking that exact spot. Hey, after back-to-back two-out hits right now, this pitcher thought he was going to cruise through this inning, and now he's got traffic, and he's in jeopardy. With a ball in the gap or a ball missed over the heart of the plate of the crooked number going on the board. 
And here's the speedster D. Gordon. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. A hit and two tries for him so far. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Two men are on with two men out. And this is taken for a called strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now one and two. Down the first baseline. But well, this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. And this one's in the dirt. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Fouled away. Another try at 2-2. He really needs to find a pitch to put this guy away with right here, right now. He can't allow this inning to get any worse than it's already become. On the eighth pitch of the at-bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down. And the Ready once again, Justin Upton. He Leading was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. And he'll take oh, strike good. one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. And, and Upton won't chase that one. It's 1-2. and two. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0-2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. Uh, just tried to freeze him with the fastball there. Pretty close. It's 2-2. Two and two. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. 3-2. From 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, what a great at bat to start this inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. And he takes strike three called on the fastball, one gone. Now batting. Number First eight. pitch coming, here it is. Carter Keboom is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0 and 1. And the pitch. Yep, that ball went out. Hit down the line at first, but this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. The one-two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Boy, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. Now and what does he do? He just throws this good fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. Joe Adele stands in as he checks his swing here for strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. That's a tough curveball right there to stay into as a lefty hitter. That ball looks like it's almost going to hit you, and it breaks over the inside half of the plate. One ball and two strikes to count. Great arm action on that two-strike changeup right there, but even better job at the plate to take that one. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Waiting on it is Hanniger. And that's the third out. Angels are gone. And standing in, Jake. Crawford and Dan Hina's fellow top of the order hitters haven't really offered much help for this lineup so far. No, your one, two, three guys are the ones you look to to generate a lot of action, and they just haven't been up to the task so far in this one. Still time for them to turn it around, though. We'll see if it happens. 0 oh, and 2, the count to Crawford. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. One and two, the count to the Mariners shortstop. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at.
Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. The next 3 2. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Well, this has been a completely different performance from the offense that we saw yesterday. They were looking like the 27 Yankees 24 hours ago, but they've been held in check so far in this one. That's kind of how baseball goes, though. In now, Kyle Lewis. As he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Now the 1 0 is looked at for ball number two. And now we see a right hander up and throwing in the Angel bullpen. From the wind up, the 2 0 pitch. That's ball three. Well, those were a couple of close pitches right there in the inner part of the zone. Hitters will tell you, pitches in that location are tough to do anything with. Here it comes, the 3 0. And That's he loses him on a breaking ball. The first baseman, number 22. Miguel. So the big bat of Miguel Sano no. digs in next. It was a walk in his last trip. From the stretch. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. The 0 1. In the dirt. And he is in there. They couldn't get him at second. And he'll make it in easily at second, as I'd imagine that'll be scored a passed ball. Yeah, that's an unfortunate pass ball. And you can bet the catcher is kicking himself about it right now. With the runner advancing to second, the double play is off the table. Might come back to haunt him. From the belt, kicks and deals. That's a ball. Oh, and two pitches, a curveball that misses one and two. From the stretch. Line toward right center. And that's into the outfield for a one out hit. Now it's cut off. A throw to the plate. And he will beat the throw safe at the plate. And they're on the board. It's a six to one game now. The batter. Boy, a big the game right yesterday field. from these guys, Dero. It takes them a little while to get through in the score column, but finally they get through in the middle part of this game. Yeah, Dan, yesterday it was a fight to get to the bat rack. Everybody was squaring balls up left and right. Today, not the same. Pitcher's been executing, but they were able to dial it in. Hopefully that's the breakthrough. On his way toward the mound now is skipper Joe Madden, and he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. He'll wind up lasting just one out into the sixth the inning, but he'll leave Your with the lead please. and was effective now in this one. Matt Andrees enters to make an appearance on the mound as he Matt inherits a runner at first Andrees. with one out in the inning. Stepping in now is Mitch Hanniger, and it's grounded just foul down the line. Andrees has tossed over 30 innings so far this season and has an ERA just under four, a respectable number that he'd like to improve upon in this one. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Andrees, a previous member of the Diamondbacks organization, he was acquired via trade last year. Yeah, this guy's fully settled in with this ball club right now. Knows what the manager and coaching staff expect from him. Is not taken aback by anything. He's been through the spring training process and gotten to know everybody in this organization top to bottom. A ball and two strikes to Mitch Hanniger. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution 
was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. So it was a strikeout swinging. Mitch Hanniger becomes batting, out number two this hitter, inning. Jose Marmolejo. Standing in now, Jose Marmolejos. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0-1. No hits to this point. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. One two pitch is a bit high, and he's back to even at two and two. Two out with the man at first. Three and two, a full count to the Mariners' designated hitter. Well, this has been a good at bat. He's now worked to count full to three and two. It allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. A little late on this one as it's lifted the other way down the left field line. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Throw comes in quickly from left, so even on the hit and run, they'll hold things to first and second now here. Left fielder, Florida. That can't bother you too bad, Dan, right there. Power guy at the plate, and you're able to get in his kitchen. Boy, that, that's a tough one to swallow, right? These big, strong guys, they like to get their arms extended. That wasn't that bad of a pitch, but he's just so strong that he's able to muscle that into the outfield grass. And a little self-preservation down at first as he pulls that one into... I think what I'm going to do is, after this game... I'm probably going to put it on a uh, dynamic so I can like, because I feel like I lost my mojo in this game. I used to be really good, or at least decent. But now I'm kind of struggling. He was able now to spit on that first slider right there, guys, but he didn't let the second It could be just about a game, but I've been having a couple bad, real bad games. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the type of... Ah! Well, this is a lesson for all those pitchers out there. When you allow the lead... And that'll bring Mike Trout to the dish. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. As a look, now the pitch. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. And he missed with it. It's 1-2. and two. Boy, he sped him up in this at bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy's got a good one, and he hasn't thrown it yet oh. in this at bat. And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. Ready with Telling the first me. Here it comes. Anthony. Oh, you've been calling that all game, ref. With one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1 0. Oh. From the belt. Kicks and deals. And he won't bite at that point either. It's 2 0. Oh. Too high. And it's 3 and 0. Oh. Dog, oh, he's been calling this all game. All oh, good. And this misses here for ball four. Just okay. the second walk he's issued here into his seventh inning of work. JT Realmuto comes on with one gone here as he looks at a call and strike one. Awesome execution right there. Great pitcher's pitch and an excellent job to get ahead in a tough spot. Real Muto behind with an 0 and 2 count now. Ball and two strikes to the Angels catcher. 
I'll tell you, it's a helpless feeling for a manager or a pitching coach when your pitchers are having a really hard time throwing strikes. What are you supposed to do other than keep trying new guys until someone starts attacking the zone? Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. And That's a terrible pitch. Away from him there and the count levels at two and two. This is exactly the reason why this guy has been so successful and has played this game so long, scrambling pitch after pitch, making this guy work out on the mound. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. JT Real Muto goes down for out number two in the top half. Number 25 stands in as he looks at ball one here. Oh my God. And maybe a little frustrated on the mound here as the fastball misses for ball two now. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. Sent foul again, and after being way ahead, now it's even at two and two. From the belt, the pitch. Thank you. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. He's set. Here's the three and two. And he fouls this one off. Another full count pitch home. This is oh, come on. And that's a fair ball as this one will get down the line. And the run will score from second base as they've upped it now to eight to one. Sometimes it's hard to explain when a game is this lopsided. A lot of things just kind of snowball on you. One thing leads to another <coughs> hit, which leads to another. Some bad defense, some shoddy pitching. Next thing you know, you look up, and you're on the wrong side of a whole lot of badness. Looking to minimize the damage here. One ball, two strike. Two down, runners at first. Jesus and Christ. And that just misses the corner inside to even the count at two and two. Wow, the first six innings, this guy was sharp. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I'm going to put on a beginner and just have fun. Into the box now, Dylan Moore. He's one for two. If I lose, I lose. I don't care. Look very promising so far in this one as we move into the ah. later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other, one away. Striding into the box, Luis Torrens. He singled his last time up, fouled off. Oh, one count, here's the pitch. <laughs> Rendon able to oh, good. Play, and that's out number two. I'm trying to get up to get out of this game as quickly as possible now. Over and digging in, D Gordon. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. High in the air out this. And that will end the inning. Leading off of the ankle. Aaron Fletcher comes on the pitch now, hoping. Stepping into the box, Jake. Waiting for the Mariners, the shortstop, JP Crawford. He's set, here it comes. This is pulled into right. And a dive, but it rattles in and out of the glove. He wasn't letting that one go. Jumped on the first pitch right there and drove it into the outfield for a base hit. At the plate, Kyle Lewis. As he will line this one into right center, and this is going to get down and should be extra bases. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. The first baseman, number 22. Here's Miguel Sano. And it's fouled away. Two hits and two trips for him thus Man. Far. It has not been a fun game for us. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. But that'll get fouled. It's 0-2 now. Man, 
man, the Mariners have been looking for that big hit pretty much all game long. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now sure would be a great time. Change up that time. A swing, and this one's driven out to deep left center field. This ball has a chance, and it is over the wall. A home run. So a three-run shot to left center, number 23 for him thus far, as it is now an 8-4 to four ball game. They seem to forget that the game started a while ago, but better late than never, I guess. Sometimes one big hit is all it takes to get a team going. We'll see if they can build on it and make a run here. Swing and a long drive again. This one to deep center. There to take it is Trout. He's been that up again today. Next will be the designated hitter, Jose Marmolejos. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Now here's the ball hit high and deep to straightaway right field. Right fielder looking up, and this one is gone. A home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Third home run for him on the year, as it's now an 8-5 to five ball game. At the plate now, Lourdes Guriel. He swings and grounds it to short. He's got it. And the off-balance throw will be too late, so a good effort that time, but it's an infield single. To the plate now, Dylan Moore. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Stumpy's a better player than I am. I'm not going to lie to you. He's way better than me. I'm just good at building teams. I'm not great at playing. Especially I'm not the stumpy because I don't have the patience to be losing a lot. Oh, they think they may have gotten him again. This one's hit deep to left field, and for the second time in the inning, the Gopher but this is gonna, will come back to After Miami the next game, that, that'll be my last time doing something like this. Two-run shot to straightaway left, and it's now an 8-7 ball game. Well, if you're just joining us, that's the seventh home run hit so far in this game. Really unbelievable stuff. Yeah, Manny B, this has always been known as one of the better pitchers' ballpark. Ken Griffey didn't like to hit here. A-Rod didn't like to hit here. The only guy that seemed to like to hit at this place was Ichiro. Definitely a pitcher's ballpark. Yeah, without question, Dan. And that's why what they were able to accomplish no today with such a high home run total just screams to the ball flying today. Maybe there was a jet stream going out to the gaps. I don't know. But what we saw today is not the norm. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. Line drive, base hit to right. So the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two-out base hit. No mistake what he was sitting on. Now Fastball, that. middle of the plate, kept his hands back, JP. stayed through the baseball, and Over. delivers a hard hit line drive. Into the box, J.P. Crawford fouled away. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. Pitch out, nothing doing. Runner on first with two away. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. Trout is there and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. Johan Ramirez enters from the pen to start the night. Keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Here goes Mike Trout. Guys, what do we want to do? Do we just want to walk him? What do you guys think we should do here? Cause he's 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 been going off on me. Like he's two for four today, triple a home run. I 
All right, let's let's pitch to him, I guess. Field in the over shift here. Now the pitch. Mike Trout is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning. One and zero. As we near the end of this one, I think it's safe to say that the story of the game has undoubtedly been the long ball. Guys, what do you think about what we've witnessed? <laughs> that boy. As a former offensive player, I absolutely love it. Kudos to both lineups for doing absolute damage oh, okay. today. One of the most nah, we're gonna keep. Of the year. You know, we're gonna keep this. Keep this. New age way of guys going up there and they're swinging hard. You need to <laughs> pitches, quality pitches. And if you don't have command of the fastball, you're in for. I was like, nah, dog. We <laughs> we're gonna pitch away from this guy. I'm telling you, the pitching style is not. Dan, this guy's on fire. I used to say all the time it's about 150 ABs to 200 ABs. When you start figuring out what type of season you're going to have. He's I'm telling you. In May and he's on fire. If I see something you swinging out, you're not picking up, I'm going to keep attacking it then. See? Like that. Nah, let's take it again. Son of a bitch. And of course, we had to play that no doubles defense. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one out single. Dan Count goes out the window with this batter right here. It doesn't matter if it's 0 2 2 0. He's locked. He has great bats. Oh, you've been calling that all game, dude. Being able to get the barrel of the ball, and this is one of those guys. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. My boy struck out. Off speed pitch, and it stays outside. Ball three. Hey, the bullpen needs to step up in this situation. I gotta believe the manager was hoping for way more than this. <laughs> There's ball four. These guys on defense are still within striking distance, but after that walk, one swing of the bat could really blow this thing wide open. Justin Upton is that How are you gonna strike out Mike Trout, but you can't do nothing else? And he won't bite at that one either. It's two and oh. Nowhere to put anybody. Two oh count. Oh my god. Spot to be in as a pitcher. That one's in there, three and one. Taking all the way there, and a walk could be huge here. So I wouldn't be surprised oh, if he's got thank God. on his shoulder again on the next pitch. So no, it is over, and he tucks it away for the second out. Carter Keeboom digs in now. His day at the plate hasn't amounted to much. 0 for four, but this is a great opportunity to make amends. Well, when your team really needs you, like they need it right here, you have to be able to put their personal okay. struggles out of your mind. Right now is all that matters. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Okay, so far so good, so far so good. Ah, come on. Thank God. <laughs> Solo shot here to straight away right field as that makes this an eight all ball game. Stepping in now, Miguel Sano. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Oh, he did not feel good about that one at all. <laughs> He's there and That's funny. Into the box now, Mitch Hanniger. One run in and one gone so far in the inning. Set and the pitch. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. And that is off the wall. The relay, not in time. Ooh. And he's in there with a double. A nice piece of hitting right there to put the winning run on base. I know there's one out in the inning. They got one more to play with that they could potentially be productive with. But this guy's looking to end this right now and put something in a gap. 
Taylor Trammell will come on now and pinch run here. So digging in with a chance to win it here, Jose Marmolejos. And he could very well get the intentional pass here as that would set up a potential double play ball that might keep the game Well, tight. that could happen. Rendon is under it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now in the box, Lourdes Gurriel. And he's got a chance to bring in the winning run. The question is whether they'll even pitch to him. Here's the first pitch. High in the air out to center field. He's got out of it. Damn it. He's going to have room out there as he puts this away. Taylor Trammell will start. Number 66 gets the call from the bullpen to pitch in relief. Here's the first pitch to him. Bouncer up the middle. Crawford gloves it. Throw is not in time. And a great job of legging that out as now the go-ahead run is on base to lead off the inning. I know he didn't smoke that one from the offensive standpoint, but you know what? A knock's a knock, especially to lead off an inning game tied and it's getting late that could prove to be pivotal standing in now David Fletcher trying to get that go ahead run to scoring position now as he puts this one down throws going to go on to first so a perfect sacrifice there is now the go ahead run moves into scoring position here Wilmer Defoe is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike it's 0 and 1 this is going to be an interesting at bat I think he has to be pitching for a strikeout here, so we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. Takes a look at a change up there, and it's a ball and two strikes now. Go ahead, runs in scoring position here with one away. And he's struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, man, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters. And it looks like they'd rather go after the next guy as the intentional walk signal comes here. Which you think I'm going to go? Yeah, the guy's been on fire lately. You think I'm going to go after? So I think this is the way to go here. Get the bat out of his hands any way that you can. <clears throat> and he'll look at a fastball that You think I'm going to go after Mike Trout? Oh, well, he's really in trouble and it's just getting worse and worse and worse. This guy needs to find the strike zone in the worst way. Go on to first, he'll be in time and a good chance for the Angels goes for not as this Mm -mm. Not a fuse. Yeah, Matt, that last at bat, that was a pretty good pitch. A fastball down and away that he went out and hooked and pulled it. So if I'm on the mound right now, I'm going to have to think about throwing one up and in and standing this guy up to make that outside corner. Not as a I simply refuse. Oh, that, was a, that was a good play call by me. The 0 1 pitch. And he ah. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. Upton going back. And that ball is Thank God. Gone. Santa Maria, game over. A solo shot here to left. And with one swing of the bat, this ball game is over. So the lineup really helped carry them to victory here in this one. And this man was a big reason why. He's our tops player of the game. Some bullshit. Kyle Riley? Yeah, I keep him active. Ah... It's Sunday morning. Welcome to Inside the Show. Starting in the AL West, the Mariners put up 16 hits on the day as they walked off in dramatic we'll go up fashion against, against the, the Athletics Angels, here. Nine to eight. The Philadelphia Phillies combined for four total home runs as they defeated the A's in Oakland 7-5. to five. The Baltimore Orioles launched three home runs as they grabbed the win over the Rangers in Arlington 8-7. to seven. The Houston Astros knocked out 10 hits as a team as they beat Actually, the we'll Red against Sox 6 the Tigers. We'll do the Tigers. Stripling got his third win this season as Toronto <laughs> took care of the Rays 2 to 1. The Yankees put together 10 
All right. <clears throat> Afternoon baseball. Just as Sheffield gets the ball for Seattle in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, Matty V, this ought to be exciting. This is one of the top young pitchers in the game right now. He keeps getting better. He keeps learning. And if he continues at this pace, this guy has a chance to be one of the more reliable pitchers in the game. Fellas, the Mariners entering play here this afternoon. Four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Yeah, Matty B. Hey, Dero. Oh, broke a bat. Some pretty good baseball right now. Through the first five games of this homestand, four and one and looking for some bigger and better things yeah we had a chance to sit down before the game after bp with the manager he was really pleased with the way his team has played in these last five let's see if it continues today and with that let's take a look at the angels starting lineup danny who stands out to you well you always have to be aware of mike trout this guy is one of the great hitters of all time 300 batting average with 300 home runs that is a tremendous combo he's a fun player to watch mike He's insane. I'm tired of this boy. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. And they go right after him on the inside. Tired of this man. Now time to list the umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Jerry Hillsdale. Dero, Jerry Hillsdale might be one of the more solid everyday umpires in the league right now. Yeah, I think he's one of the best in the business, Dan. High praise all around. You go into both meetings with the managers, and what do they do? They rave about Jerry Hillsdale. To one and two now. Now here it comes. Fastball well outside. Yeah, just pitch him away, guys. Just pitch him away. Full count, three balls and two strikes to the Angels center fielder. That was another good pitch and a tough call that could have gone either way. Couldn't get him to bite. There's You've got to be kidding me. Here and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one without a doubt is gone. Right now he can't wait to get to the plate against this pitching staff. Four home runs in this series. Bet he wishes he could play these guys every single day. Slow roller down the third baseline. Throw in time and the <laughs> I hate Mike Trout so much. Angels do get one. Ready now, D Gordon. He'll lead things off. I hate Mike Trout so much, dude. And now pitch on the way. The second baseman. That's lifted the other way out to left. Upton on the move. Damn it. He's there and records the first out. And now a quick look at the Mariners starting lineup in this one. Anybody catch your eye, Dan? Well, Matt, I'm going to be watching for the speedster D Gordon. He was the catalyst for this ball club last month. He had an on-base percentage of over 400. And when you're doing that, you're really helping your team. And that'll bring in J.P. Crawford. As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. These Angels, as they enter play here this afternoon, fellas, they continue to fall on hard times. High in the air, carrying well out to deep center. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. And he'll pull into second with one away. This thing stays in the park, but let me tell you something. He absolutely crushed this thing. This park is no band box. It takes a lot to get one out of here, and he almost does it. It carried a long time and hit it halfway up the wall for a long double. Throw on to first, two gone. So stepping in, Jose Marmolejos, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First pitch coming, here it is. Fouled off. Crawford stands at second with two gone. Left field and deep. Upton going back at the track. Ah. And he makes a nice catch. All set for the start of the inning. And now it will be the catcher, JT Realmuto. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Trammell is there. One pitch, one out. Batting pitch. All right, guys, here's Seattle's defensive alignment. And I'm going to focus on J.P. Crawford right now. He is one of the slickest defenders in the game. Real smooth going to his left and right, and he has a bazooka for an arm. 
Number 25 is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Angels lead it one nothing here in inning number two. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate and he'll have another shot at it here. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Long run for the center fielder. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. I'm just trying to get through this game. To and he's Honestly. Looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping My boy Snuppy's still not online, dude. Just want to be in a party chat with them. With two men out. And right into the shift, there is Seeger. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Angels go down one, two, three. At the plate, Mitch Hanniger, as they'll have five, six, and seven here to start the home half of the second. Now a pitch swung on and foul tipped right off the mask. It's I hate playing the Brewers. Oh. Oh, that was such a long time ago. Oh, got it. This ball is crushed. Look at it go. Over the bullpen and gone. A solo home run for Mitch Hanniger. Number 17 for him on the season. And the Mariners have come back to make this a 1-1 game. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in the game. High and deep to right center. Gone! Jesus. A solo home run here for Kyle Seeger. Home run number nine on the year as the Mariners have now taken a two to one lead. Heat beat the Celtics. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. Stumpy, if you're watching, so come back to me, man. This one, and they've done it again. Back to back to back home runs. A solo shot here to left. Home run number five on the year. Into the box now, Dylan Moore. As he rips it on the ground to second. And that's through for a hit. They've gotten their hits in deep counts. They've gotten their hits in early counts. This has been a real onslaught. Yeah, you can look at it one of two ways, Matty. Either they have a ton of respect for the man on the mound, and they are just going to ambush tactics, and it seems to work for them. Or you can look at it the other way. They're just getting lucky. Nobody out, runner on first. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. And it's fouled away. The 
the next 0-2. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. Looking up is Upton. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. Well, balls are flying out of here faster than they can throw them across the plate, it seems. That's four home runs in this inning alone. It's times like this when pitchers wonder if maybe they've chosen the wrong profession. Their pitching coaches start wondering, too. No, nah, we're going to beat the hell out of them. With all due respect, we're going to beat the hell out of them today. Uh, usually I'm like, I'm doing too much. No, nah, I have it on beginning. I'm not going to lie to you. Except for the pitching. The pitching's on all stuff. But we're going to beat the hell out of these boys. Time for a look at the Angels on defense. And we have to focus on one of the best players in all of our sport. Mike Trout, center fielder. We're going to beat the hell out of them. I don't know who's watching. I don't, I don't know if it's sports. I don't know if it's Stumpy. I know. I'm going to lose some respect for you. I don't care. We're beating the hell out of this team. Having a bad day today. We're beating the hell out of someone. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Jose Marmolejos. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch coming, here it is. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. The 1 0 delivery. There he goes. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw way late, and he's in there easily at second. You don't see that very often against this guy. This guy has one of the best arms in the game, but still a successful steal of second base. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. A ball and two strikes now. Hey, boys, you talking about getting your ace swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. God damn. The next one two pitch. Grounded back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. He'll come oh, home with it. Ah, oh, Mike Trout. Well up the line and he scores off. easily. <laughs> the starters just don't go as deep into games as they used to. Sometimes five innings or so, but a guy that gets roughed up for six runs early in the game is going to have a hard time even sticking around that long. This is lined to left. Damn. Upton is there to put it away and finally put it. Great inning there as they bat around to score six times to open up the lead. Carter Kibun is in to start things off here as he looks at a cold know. strike. It's nothing in one. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. Yeah, this is straight survival mode. Down 0 2. The numbers are definitely not with the batter here. Here's a high pop-up. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. Batting none. At the plate, Joe Adele. He'll get Joe. to take his first cuts Adele. here. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. After watching that one go by and a ball being called, you can rest assured he knows he's not getting away with another one of those. I guarantee you he's going to be aggressive on this next pitch. Hit weakly on the ground to short. Throw, and he's called out on a close play at first. And now for the Angels, David Fletcher, 0 for 1 here in the early going. In there, 0 and 1. Two out, nobody on. And it's 1 and 1. Swing and a miss out in front Damn, of the Damn, I thought that was a... <laughs> Trevin. Misses, ball two. I know he's Stumpy's online. God, right okay. That's a dangerous pitch. If he doesn't pop... How could he? And bury that inside. It leaks out over the plate. He can get hurt with that pitch. How could he stream right now? And I can't watch right now. I'm in the middle of a baseball game. This bastard. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. This guy. And he puts it away to retire the side. Angels are gone in right. the lead. And we're back. This guy. Can't believe him. With Heidi Watney. 
Thanks, Matt. I talked with Mariners manager Scott Service during the break about his team's offensive performance so far, and flat out he was very pleased with the quality of their at bats. He said, I want to try something. Try to shoot it the other way. The right ah! The numbers Eager. back that up. Five extra base hits on the stat sheet, guys. Thank you, Heidi. And this is taken in by Upton for the first out. So with one away, a couple of teams out of the AL West doing battle in this one. So let's check out where they sit in the standings entering play here today. One gone now in the Mariners' third inning. And that brings up the exciting Lourdes Gurriel Jr. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. And there's a line drive base hit to left field. Well, Matt, as we take a look at his line here, he might not know all the specifics, but he knows he hasn't been pitching all that well in this one. Sometimes it happens. You start a game and never completely get into that rhythm. Seems to be the case here. Into the box, still and more. He had high and deep out there to left center. Oh, you know it's an out. Looking up is up to Never mind. Gone. I told you guys we're gonna have our fun today. So a two-run shot to left center, number 14 on the season, as this is now a seven-run ball game. Fans are getting plenty of souvenirs today. That's the fifth ball we've seen clear the fence by just this one lineup alone. Dan, they're absolutely not going to cover off the ball. I'm curious to get your take on this. I didn't find it to be the truth. I didn't mind hitting that night. But a lot of guys say they see the ball better during the day. You know what's funny, D-Ro, is, is I preferred to pitch in night games as opposed to day games. I always thought it was advantage to the hitter, and so far that looks like it's the case in this one right here. They must be seeing the ball really well. Now this one is blasted to left field, and there's no doubt about it. Back to back jacks. Here's Donovan Solano. A solo shot here to left. His second home run of the game as they widen this lead to eight now. We're going to be listening to Stumpy. Is he even talking? I don't hear him. All I hear is the commentator. I don't know. Oh, you left. Oh my, there is no doubt about this one. And they've done it again. Back to back to back home runs. To the plate now, JP Crawford. Popped him up. Mm. Homie is not having a good game. Fletcher takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. So digging in now, Taylor Trammell. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Teron gets the sign. Here's the first pitch. On the ground to the right side. Throw in time and they stop the bleeding as the side is retired. Four runs in the inning, but of note there was that they came on the strength of three home runs. On now to the top of inning number four. The Mariners are on top ten to one. And an offline throw, but boy, look at him stretch out and keep the foot on the bag. Great concentration there for the first half. Riding in once again, Mike Trout. Damn. Deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. Yeah, now this guy flexed his muscles in that last at bat. We heard that he has good power. That last bomb had to go well over 400 feet. He hit it a long way. Strike one to start the at bat. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. A lot of movement that time. It's 0 and 2. No, no, no. Keep up with the two seamer. Okay, he's timing it up. He's timing it up. Nah, let's go with the slider. 
Oh, I was kind of hoping. I will pitch him inside. We'll pitch him inside. And he fouls this one off. Now we're gonna pitch him. We're gonna pitch him. Another one, two. And that is swung out of the rest. He's down on strikes, and the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. The great equalizer. Nice K, dude. It was a really good job of getting him to offer that one out of the zone, and it was all set up by the fact that he got ahead. Justin Dunn. And forced the hitter to have to protect. That's the name of the game. In now is Anthony Rendon. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Out there on the playing field. Don't know what it is, but I know this. He's got good enough stuff to overcome and get it done on the road as well as at home. So we'll see what he's able to do with this one. I think Mike Trout was the first. Mike Trout, Mike Trout was our first um, strikeout. He was. Balls and no strikes to Anthony Rendon. One run, just one hit, and no errors to this point for the Angels. A strike, and it's two and one. Oh no, Cruz just hit a home run for Stumpy. And that's the final out of the inning. Angels go down one, two, three. They're down nine. It's ten to one. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And here comes the first baseman, Jose Marmolejos. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. This is pulled in straight at someone. This will not elude the right fielder's grasp as he ranges over to handle it for the first out. Really have to bear down. Ready for another shot now, Mitch Hanniger. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. First pitch coming, here it is. Jock Peterson just hit two home runs for the Yankee. Trout has a read on it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Digging in now for the Mariners, Kyle Seeger is working on a one for two game so far. Hit in the air to oh. the field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Tehran's ready. 0 oh, 1 on its way. And there's a base hit on the line. Hey, they weren't going to keep this guy down for long. That's the ebbs and flows of a baseball season. Bottom line is this guy has bat to ball skills. You knew he was going to get hot eventually. At the plate now, Mortis Guriel. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Yeah, he hit him. Well, not a whole lot behind that pitch. It's off speed, but it still stings. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Two out with the man at first. Fouled off. The 0 2 once more. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep. It bangs off the scoreboard and it's gone. So a two run shot to left center, his second of the game, as this lead got even wider. Senzel on his way over. Nice grab on the run. Runner tagging for third. And he moves up 90 feet. Runners at the corners now. I almost can't believe I'm saying this, but that was the eighth home run of the game for these guys. How about this offensive performance? 
Yeah, Matty B, this has always been known as one of the Ladies better pitchers' ballpark. King Griffey player. didn't like to hit here. A-Rod didn't like to hit here. The only guy that seemed to like to hit at this place was Ichiro. Yeah. Love. Lord is great, okay. Not much as I love on Miguel Sano, though. Miguel Sano has that power. Tom Murphy as he'll swing and miss at a first pitch slider at strike one and his confidence has to be in a really good place you're right Matt Frazier already launched two balls over the fence you got this and it's fouled away come on boy surprised he's laid on a heater right two two on pitch number 23 ah uh, maybe maybe it'll drop her off oh. keep going keep going keep going, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Ah. The second base with a double, his third Let's go. Hit this afternoon. Man, that swing looked like self defense in a real quality swing, but hey, he muscled it out there and it was enough to get him safely the second. Those are the kind of hits that would drive you nuts as a pitcher. The swing and this ball is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to keep this one in the ballpark. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. Stepping in now, JP Crawford. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's working on a one for three thus far. The 0 1 on its way. Lifted the other way out to left center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And that. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Where my pleasure go. Oh, he probably lied out. And one thing he mentioned to me Not the P2. The Jesus. Right he oh. Now maybe later. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Oh. And there's a drive to deep left center. You can pretty much forget about this one. This is way out of here. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. Number 25 is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. The windup and the 0-1. Ball. I got a ball, one strike. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. That being very aggressive right now. Can't quite nip the no, corner. It's a ball off the If he hits it, he hits it. Screw it. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Crawford fields it cleanly. Now we're going to pump strikes. First, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Now batting. Stepping into the box, Justin Upton. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. There's a change up taken, but it finds the zone on the inside. Hit to first. Field it cleanly. And there are two away now. Coming to the plate now, Carter Kiboom. He popped out in his first trip. Yeah, it didn't look good right there. Just out in front. You know, sometimes when a pitcher has great arm action. Oh, they traded for they traded Shohei Atani for him. Catch up to the high velocity. If he shows that great arm action and pulls the string on you, sometimes a pop. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Matt Andrees gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. First offering on its way. Chopped toward the second baseman. High hop and he bare hands. Ooh. He's out. And that's a huge play to keep the leadoff man off base. Next will be the cleanup. <laughs> uh, huh? <laughs> First pitch coming. Here it is. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul. In baseball, man. Nobody on. 
This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Upton's after it. No. He can't get there in time, and now it hops over the wall for a ground rule double. Digging in, Mitch Henniger. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Fouled away. The 0-1 on its way. Ah, oh, man. Oh, I must have said that. And that's the second out. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. He's faced Matt and Reese previously. Comes Taking the dog out again. He's also gone down Oof. to strikes nine times. But right there is the second baseman and that... The only reason I brought those towels is because it was gonna flood in the backyard. Oh. Damn. Okay, the dog's upset. You want to throw it inside the zone, my friend? Please. I beg of you. Thank it's God. even now, two and two. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach? Oh, my goodness. In that count? Do you Get him. Pitch for the Get there. Out here? Mitch. Mitch. Oh. <laughs> I didn't think Mitch Hanniger was going to get there. Just get the hell out of me. Turns over now and set to go. David Fletcher. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Ball one to start the at bat. Let me use the restroom after this well, inning. Well, really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's all very little resistance. Uh-uh, we're not doing his crap. He's in the bag right now. now. Okay, I'm going to strikes now. Good change up in the dirt. Strike three. Murphy is after it, and he makes the throw to first. Fletcher is retired. Two down now. Designated hitter. Wilmer. And here now is Wilmer Defoe. No hits for him to this point, not unlike many of his fellow teammates. Owen won the count. Now a fastball off the plate away, a ball and a strike. Hit out towards second. Gordon is there. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Mortis Guriel. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna use her. We'll stand in looking for home run number three as we take it back to inning number four. And this was his second home run of the game as he's been dialed in so far in this one. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Nope, outside. On that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. Sent on the ground out to second. Scooped up. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Striding forward now is the DH, Dylan Moore. He's looking to go four for four with a base hit right here. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. His last at bat is second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this AB. No balls in one strike. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Ripped on the ground to first. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Digging in and looking for more. Tom Murphy. He hit a two-bagger and later scored in his previous plate appearance. Yeah, it's been an offensive explosion for him today. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everyone seems to be putting barrel on baseball in this lineup. One ball, no strikes to count. Ball 
Two balls and no strikes. Looks like he's pitching pretty cautiously right here, but that happens when a guy's three for three on the day. Usually he's a guy you challenge a little bit more, but I guess he's earned some respect in this one. And he couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane of the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. Two out, nobody on. Three and one. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Count full, three balls and two strikes. The 3 2 pitch. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Wow. All I know is these guys don't need any more help to get on base. Believe it or not, that's the first walk they've gotten. They've done all their damage the hard way. See if they can add to it here. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, D. Gordon. Already a pair of long balls on his line in this one. So we'll see what else he has in store here. First offering on its way. Nope. Ball one. A runner on first with two away. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. Hooking just foul by a matter of inches that time. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Upton's under it, and the inning is over. Mariners leave one, but you can forgive them as they still hold an enormous lead. And that'll bring Mike Trout to the dish. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Mike Trout. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Ball 1. I'm back. The action out in the bullpen, couple of right handers starting to loosen up. And it's a foul he's, ball. he's timing it. He's timing this. Looking forward the strikeout. Here's the 1. This right bastard. Yo, Daniel Vogelback is just a beast for Stumpy. He's, he's like him. His afternoon of work, and the longer this at bat goes, the more <sighs> chance of him making a mistake. But as a guy starts to tire, the more oh. likely to leave the ball up. But man, he's been good so far. So it was a strikeout swinging. Mike Trout now was down, down for the first the out in the seventh three. inning. Anthony Rendon. And digging in next will be Anthony Rendon. As he lays off a fast he's getting up two hits. And he's they just so happen to be both so be homers. Far. Him up. Gordon is there. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Trying to pick things up where he left off. JT Real Muto, a hit in two tries for him so far. Mm. And this is low ball one. Boy, they've been just getting shut down right here. Been a while since they've even had a runner on. So I think it's time to start looking for ways to make And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here. To... Stepping up to the plate, J.P. Crawford. He'll lead things off against the same reliever that finished off the last inning. Well, you don't see in this day too many relievers going multiple innings. But guys have to earn that trust. I hit a perfect, perfect see how he handles it here. line up. <laughs> quick out number one. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Taylor Trammell. He was a ground out victim last time up. First pitch coming, here it is. Hit hard. He finally got a hit. And that'll find its way into center field for a one out hit. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dan. Sent it back right where it came from. So now to the plate, Jose Marmolejos. Trout has a read on it. Mm. Two gone. Now 
play, Mitch Hanniger. He was retired via the ground ball. Trying to get my ass beat. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Well, I'll continue getting my ass beat. Ah! in to try it again number 25 he leads off their half of the eighth and they've been unable to get that starter out of the game to this point yeah he settled in early on the mound partly due to the lead his guys gave him to take some of the pressure he's taken that and pitching very effectively in this one watch him start barking as soon as you leave now at the plate justin up yep he was a ground out victim last time up oh that one ran in and got him. he does not have it today That's the dog for you. What is this? Two runs on two hits and no errors to this point for the Angels. Lofted in the air. Nah, hell no. Right center. Coming in is Hanniger. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Ah. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. So striding forward now, Joe Adele. No hits to this point. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. And it's quickly 0-2. And, and too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Playing here in his age 29 season. This is the first year of his new four-year contract. And I can't tell you what that means for a ball player. To be able to know you're going to make your home for many years to come. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. Angels strand one. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And standing in is the veteran third baseman, Kyle Seeger. First pitch of the at bat. This one's hit deep out to left center field. Straight at the left fielder. Never mind. But he's not going to get this one. It's into the gap. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. Talk about starting off the inning with the bang. Goodness. What? When this thing left the bat, I thought it was out of here. And I think he might have too. Mm -hmm. Only made it to the warning track, but he glides into second base. I thought that bitch was going to be an out. And there's one away. I ain't gonna lie to you. In now, Dylan Moore. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Yeah, and I know you want to lace a line driver, hit a potential home run. Why is he here? Grab the cheap ribby when it's there. Give me a ground ball, middle of the diamond, and steal a run. Boy, and call off the dogs already as this is down for extra bases. And he is in the second base with an RBI double. Yeah, they've been crushing it at the plate all game long. As 16 runs on the scoreboard can attest. Not much you can say or do on the other side of it. Just have to get over it and get after it again next time. Standing in now, Tom Murphy. There's a line drive base hit to left field. Ooh. He got that in. He got that bitch in quick. Now with only one away. Man, talk about having a good game. And like most guys, this would be a good week. Fourth hit of the game. And two of those D-Rolls round trippers. Yeah, he's going to have a smile on his face for a while here, Dan. These are special nights. Ah. You have to enjoy these. These don't come around often. And he is taking full advantage of it. Now with the plate, J.P. Crawford and their runners at the corners now. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Lifted in the air to center field. Trout has a read on it. And that's the third out. Into the box, David Fletcher starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Tried to work it back to that low inside corner, but it misses one and two. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. Still one and two as he fouls it away. 
Man, let me get this slider. Here's the pitch. And Ooh. the slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. That was a nasty sweeping slider right there. If he was able to just catch the back door a little bit, he would have picked up that ball instead. Henniger moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. The batter, number one, designated hitter. And now, Wilmer Defoe, as he'll take a change up here for strike one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. And he'll fight this one fouled off to the left as the count goes to 0 and 2. Hit hard on the ground to second. Gordon is up with it. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Okay. So the Angels down to their final out now. And standing in, the ever dangerous Mike Trout. He slaps that one away, and the count will be nothing and one. I'm set with the 0 and 1. And you look at a fastball just off the black, and it's even at one. Down low, two balls and a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a drive to left by Trout. This one's got a chance. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. Jason Bradford gets the call here as he'll try and look for one out to finish this thing off. At the plate, Anthony Rendon, as he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. And this is swung on and missed, so with that, they find themselves down to their final strike here this afternoon. Swing and a miss, he struck him out, and that'll do it here. Okay. The ball game is over. Yeah, that's the way you want to finish a three-game home series. Breaking out the brooms and sweeping the other guys right out of here. 16 to 3. Okay, I feel much better. Hey, nice. So that's gonna be all. You know, like I was grabbed those good things. I think we're pretty much done. Um, we'll probably don't play another series until. Played Oakland. This Memorial Day edition of Inside the Show, starting in the AL West, the Mariners finished off a three-game sweep as they defeated the visiting Angels we'll probably play the, to three. As the White today, Sox here. The Mariners are atop the American League West. Yeah, like I'm going to grab those good things and I'll cut you in the later division. Division. Bye. The Man, it's crazy. Out the rooms in a three-game sweep as they defeated the A's.